Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll do a broad overview of outreach. First up is the tracker, which is a list of your companies and contacts. With this arrow, you can expand each company to find a history of their activity as well as their associated contacts. You can add activities and create email templates either one at a time or in bulk when multiple companies are selected. By clicking on a column header, you can sort the tracker. Off to the right are three side menus that let you toggle columns from view, filter for content, and create custom fields. When you filter or hide columns, you can save your view as a new view with the Create Tracker button. All your trackers are listed under this menu, and there is a special tracker called Race Long that has a chronology of all your activities and companies. If you are short on screen space, you can hide the metrics across the top of your screen. Using the Export button creates a spreadsheet of what you have on the screen. This works well with creating secondary tracker views if you need to report only specific details. If you have a virtual data room, or VDR, associated with this outreach project and you are an admin on it, you can invite the contacts from your outreach project directly into the VDR, and an activity will automatically be created in your tracker in the VDR stage. If your project isn't fully launched, the invite is saved as a draft for future action. Here, you'll see the email drafts you created that are waiting to be downloaded. When you download an email, or zip of emails, to send out from your email client, or if you're using Gmail and creating a draft, an activity is created in your tracker, and that email or group of emails is removed from this list. Next up is the inbox. The inbox is a place where you can manage correspondence with your potential prospects. This inbox is available to all deal team members, so the tracker can be easily updated with new activity. The inbox address can be copied from here, and we recommend making a contact card for it in your email client for sending messages. The inbox permissions allow you to change who can forward emails to the project. When you click on an inbox item, you can add an activity. By entering the company name and the activity type, you can update your tracker with just a few clicks. The next tab is Analytics. The Analytics tab has project-level analytics for you. In the Marketing section, you can see some relevant charts and graphs related to your tracker, including how and when companies decline your offer. You can drill into graphs by clicking on an element and download reports. The VDR Engagement section is a portal into Diligence Analytics. This is only available when you have a data site diligence project linked to your outreach project. Deal Docs are next. This is your repository for documents you want to send to your clients. Documents uploaded during the email process show up here, or you can upload them directly on this page. Clicking the pencil allows you to rename the document, and the down arrow lets you download. If you click the name of a document, you can view the document in our Secure Viewer. Because getting a bid is so crucial, we devoted an entire tab to managing this vital part of your process. Clicking on the arrow allows you to review the activities. The side column on the right lets you change the view and filter. Sorting and dragging row groups can clean up your view. You can export a spreadsheet and add a bid with the button in the upper right. Let's manage who has access in the Deal Team tab. Adding Deal Team members in Outreach is a two-step process. Before you can add a team member, they must be invited to the subscription in the Admin Console. Once an invitation is sent to your colleague, they show up in the shortlist under Add Team Members. If you need to remove someone, you can click Remove Access. Let's go to Details. Renaming your Outreach project is as easy as updating a field. You can also update the project status when things change. Inactive projects are sent to the bottom of your project list and are removed from the launch pad. The Email section has the same functionality as the buttons in the inbox for the project email address and who can send email to the project. Default CC and BCC settings and a default signature for your email templates can be managed here as well. Alerts create an icon in the Alerts column in your tracker when criteria are met. The amount of time a company is allowed to have no activity per stage is managed here. Off to the right are subscription level tabs. The first one is Admin Dashboard. This tab has analytics data, but for all the projects in your subscription. Just like in the Analytics tab, you can drill down into elements in charts and graphs and download reports. Next is Companies. The Companies tab has the same sorting and filtering as the Tracker and the Bids tab. This is a list of all the companies from all your deals across your subscription. 
This list has an analytics column where you can get company level information across all your projects. You can add and import companies here. However, we recommend adding them in a project so that they'll show up here in your global subscription list. You can also export a spreadsheet of this list in the upper right. The contacts page has a full list of all the contacts in any project. You can edit their details with the pencil and remove or deactivate a contact with the red bin. Whether you can do so depends on if they have activities in any projects associated with them. Now, our final stop, add project. Creating projects and outreach is simple. All you need is a name. However, if you want to add more details to the project, you can. At the same time, launch a free data site prepare project so you can start staging your VDR. When the time comes, a prepare project can be easily converted to a diligence project. At the bottom of the page, click Create Project to start your deal outreach. If you have any questions about outreach, contact Data Site Assist. Thank you for watching.